no one likes to suffer. But in Paul's letter to the Galatians, we learn that God can actually redeem a situation of suffering and use it for the sake of the glory of his kingdom. It turns out that one of the reasons that Paul actually was able to preach the gospel in Galatia was actually through suffering itself. He tells us the story, at least he hints at the story, in Galatians chapter 4 and verse 13. There he tells the Galatians, You know it was because of a bodily ailment that I preached the gospel to you at first. And though my condition was a trial to you, you did not scorn or despise me, but received me as an angel of God, as Christ Jesus himself. Now, we don't really know exactly what Paul is talking about, but many scholars think that the ailment that Paul is suffering with is perhaps his eyesight or perhaps a case of malaria or something that he had uh, contracted as he tried to cross the Taurus Mountains into Galatia. But whatever the circumstance is, we recognize here that it was through those circumstances that Paul actually was able to preach the truth of the gospel in Galatia. I think the Galatians recognized in Paul's life and how he dealt with suffering that he had to have some sort of hope that encouraged him not to simply look in despair at his physical condition, but help him to recognize that his current suffering was not the final story that the final story would not be written until God's kingdom. And because of that, Paul could take hope in his sufferings because he recognized that there was something far more glorious than in this life than the sufferings that we encounter in this world. And so no matter what your experience is or what my experience is, we can learn to trust that God will make all things right in the end. Our experiences may vary. Some of them may seem minor, others of us, I know myself, I've lost a child, as those are some of the most grueling things that we have to experience as humans in this world. When we recognize that there's a better day coming, that Christ has conquered the power of sin and darkness, then we can allow God to redeem those situations and turn those days of sorrow into days of joy because we've given them to God in His kingdom. Does not make it easy? But with faith in Christ, He can give us the strength to know that he will see us through till the end. Paul recognized that. I hope you will recognize that as well.